Hi, this is Doug Wolf from Boise State University, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial today on how to uh, display a pop-up window on your screen, like a pop-up reference window, um, using the uh, pause game functionality of Game Salad. So first of all, I've got an initial scene that I've set up here. Um, this is actually just a screen capture I took from a game I developed about a year ago. And uh, I'm just have it there so we have something to look at in the background. There is a pause button in the corner here. I have uh, an actor down here in this scene, which will move across the bottom of the screen and will also display a little timer as it runs. Um, and then there's also a, an, a transparent actor here that uh, if you click anywhere around this actor, it will briefly display, it will highlight the ship here and will briefly display a message that says ship. So let me just show you that this, so you can see what the base screen of this uh, little gamelet looks like. So here we go. And if I click here, you see the word ship, you get the little highlight and a little blip sound. Okay. And then over this, we're going to display a pop-up and this pop-up I've made as a separate scene. The uh, pop-up includes a just a, a plain blue actor as kind of a background box to contain everything. Uh, there's an actor here which uh, contains some text and another actor here which will also display some text. And again, this text is being put in with the display text um, behavior. And then we also have a play button here and the play button is what we're going to use to unpause the game. So uh, we need to make it so that when we are on this initial screen and we hit the pause button, that we'll display the pop-up screen. Very simple to do. I'm going to come down here into the backstage area and I'm going to edit the prototype. And uh, I first want to insert a rule. And uh, the condition would be when touch is released, and I prefer to use released rather than pressed because that way if a user touches the button and decides, wait a minute, I didn't want to pause the game, they can slide their finger off the button before they release and that way it won't trigger the action. Okay, so when touch is released, then we need to pause the game. And so we do pause game. And you'll notice here it lets us select a scene. I'm going to select that pop-up scene that I created. So it will pause the game and show the pop-up scene. Now I just need to go over to the pop-up scene, select my play button, and again I'm going to go to the prototype. And uh, over here I need to insert a similar rule to the one before. If, oops, if touch is released, then we are going to just unpause the game. And the unpause the game takes no other settings or parameters. And so let's play this now and see if everything works. So here's things going as they were before. I hit the pause button and here's my pop-up display. And you notice that that white square or rectangle that was uh, moving across the bottom has stopped. The counter is no longer going. If I try and click over here by the ship, it doesn't go. But as soon as I hit the play button, everything resumes right where it was. So we paused when that timer was at 6.7, and when we come back, it's going to be picking up right where it was before. So that's all you have to do in order to pause and play a game and uh, display a screen and the pause screen. Hey, I just wanted to give you one little PS on this, and that is um, I want to point out that you can have any kind of interactivity that you would like, or almost any kind of interactivity that you would like on this pause screen. Let me just show you briefly. Um, I added a little thing here to the pause screen so that uh, we hit pause. If I click this second actor, it uh, turns the color of it yellow. And so, and obviously we have to be able to do that in order to make the uh, unpause button work as well. I think uh, there is a limitation in that I don't believe that you could put a pause screen on top of this pause screen. 
Um, so that's one little thing that you have to be aware of is that you'd have to unpause this. If you want to display another screen, you either have to do some manual intervention on this same scene or you would have to un somehow in your code unpause this and display something new with a new pause. Anyway, uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will upload the uh, sample file to the Moodle website for you.